Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for February 3rd, 2023. Pretty solid selection of new arrivals to show you guys. Uh, got a killer whatnot coming up. I'll talk about that here in a minute. And a few restocks to go over with you guys. But first I want to talk about the big news of the week, which uh, as far as pre-orders go, was they announced the 2023 Verve Series titles. So, a couple of them we already knew because they were actually scheduled to come out this month. But they went ahead and publicized the rest of the list. I've got them all up for a pre-order on the website now. A couple of big titles on there uh, that we really haven't gotten in any other format. Uh, the first one is Alice Coltrane's Journey into Satchadonata. That is coming out March 31st. I think that's one of my favorite ones on this title. Uh, on this list. Also, uh, Nina Simone's Wild is the Wind. That's coming out uh, May 26th. You got West Montgomery smoking at the half note. That's uh, to be announced. Uh, Coleman Hawkins encounters Ben Webster. That's coming out uh, December. Stan Getz, Jazz Sama. That's coming out June. Uh, Charles Mingus, Pre-Bird. That's coming out September 29th. And Cannonball Adderley in Chicago. That's coming out August 25th. Those are two pretty uh, interesting titles. Uh, not really been done as an audio file record as of, uh, as of recently. There is, you know, some of these are re, uh, re, redone titles that were at 45. They're doing them at 33 and including them in this series. Uh, Billy Holiday, Songs for Distinguished Lovers. That's coming out June 28th. That's actually a repress of the classic records. Uh, version of this, but in a Verve title. Ella Fitzgerald, Lit No, uh, Lit no Man, Write My Epitaph, October 27th. And another one that I think actually is pretty cool, hasn't really been done before, is Oscar Peterson. I think Oscar Peterson, Milt Jackson, Very Tall. That's coming out November 17th. So I think it's kind of cool for me personally that the title that I'm looking forward to the most on this list, the uh, Alice Coltrane, is the first one. <laughs> What are the odds? Normally it's, uh, oh, the one you want? Yeah, that'll be in December. So yeah, I'm guessing the earlier titles are probably pretty set in stone. Keep in mind with these, in the past, the dates have fluctuated the longer you know you got out. But uh, hopefully that's not the case. Elton John, Honky Chateau. They're doing a 2LP deluxe edition that's coming out March 24th. Uh, remastered album and then a disc of bonus tracks so that's on the website for pre-order as well i talked to you guys very briefly about it the whatnot i'm going to show you all the titles coming at the end of this uh video of what i've got going on whatnot today uh this uh sunday it's going to be sunday 12 o'clock arizona time it's 201 items and it is just it's the best whatnot auction i've ever done you see the uh, Elton John Goodbye Yellow Brick Road Mobile Fidelity? It's that caliber of stuff. 201 items. All gas. It's a great auction. All rock and roll. No jazz. No blues. It's just Floyd, Zeppelin, classic record stuff. I mean, it's just a killer, killer auction. Click the link below in the description, guys. There'll be a link to get you directly to the uh, auction. Also, if you haven't signed up for whatnot they're doing a 15 dollars promotion to where uh you'll get 15 bucks off of your first uh your first purchase so yeah if you're interested in this auction too make sure you register your address and your credit card whatnot is a little different in the sense that once you win they charge you right then and it automatically generates a pickup ticket or excuse me a shipping ticket for me to get it out to you so, uh, yeah, if you just want to watch, you can do that as well. It's me and Angel. I'm thinking this is going to be a marathon. This is probably going to be close to a five, six hour whatnot. When you click the link below, you'll see all the items. If you click the store, you'll see all the items listed. We actually auction everything off in the order that's listed on whatnot. So if you're looking for, you know, the Pink Floyd stuff, it's going to be towards the end of the auction. The Elton stuff, it's all by the very first character of the title. So the Elton E, it's going to be towards the beginning. So I'll show you guys all that stuff in a minute. Also, I got a new InGroove logo t-shirt. Same logo. This is a new color. We're doing this uh, green. I really dig this color. So that's on the website, front page, on the bottom, all the t-shirts. So yeah, green shirt. It's nice. Okay. 
Let me show you guys this week's new arrivals. Actually, I got some uh, restocks. Let me get these out of the way because they're tiny and I don't want to forget them. We got a huge SACD Mobile Fidelity restock. These are some of the titles that are newer, or you know, stuff that I wanted to show you guys, but I've got about 40 different restocks in. Michael Jackson's Thriller, SACD, got that back in. Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms, back in. They're redoing a lot of the Miles Davis SACDs, so we got Roundabout Midnight. ELO's El Dorado. Miles Davis Nefertiti. Ah, uh, poor David Crosby. If I could only remember my name, the SACD. Miles Davis Sorcerer. Keep in mind, guys, you can always shop by labels. So if you go of, of the audio file stuff, if you go up on the top hand uh, section of the website on the main menu, just click shop by label and it'll give you the option to shop mobile fidelity, analog production, speakers corner, all the audio file labels, and then you could just find everything that's available. You can even drill it down and check a box, you know, show you only the stuff that's in stock, which is generally a good idea with labels like mobile fidelity because a lot of stuff is awaiting repress. All the audio file labels have gotten more stuff in stock but they've not really gotten to where even a majority of their catalog is available. One of the tone poets I was looking forward to the most this year, Donald Byrd at the half note with Pepper Adams. So this is a title that really needed a repress. I mean, it hasn't been done in a long time. I really dug the fact too, they used the mono jacket like the original and then put the stereo sticker on it. Didn't cheap out, which they generally don't with the tone poets, but yeah. Really looking forward to this. So, new Tone Poet and also a new Verve series title. This was actually a title that I want to say might have been announced with the original title years ago. This is a title that has been on pre-order for a long time. It kept getting pushed back, but the wait is over. It is finally here. The Oscar Peterson Trio Night Train. Fantastic record. One of his best. Awesome record, I think you guys will dig it. It's a good, easy, accessible record. Kind of like the Oscar Peterson Trio, we get requests. If you like that, I recommend this as well. Night Train. Okay, so probably my favorite record that Mobile Fidelity has done in the last 10 years. This record had not been for, you know, recent things coming to light. This would have sold out in 10 seconds. The fact that I got this is kind of amazing. And the fact that it sounds every bit as killer as it did a year ago. That is Bill Evans. Or excuse me, Bill Evans. Bill Withers, greatest hits. This record is unbelievable. This is a record that is so killer that if I don't have it in stock, I will not play it in the store. Because if I put this on on a Saturday and there's 20, 30 people in the store, 5 to 10 of those people want to buy this record. It is that killer. And they get a little, you know, one of those persons is going to get a little upset when you don't sell it to them. This record is fantastic. It's every bit of a demo record. This is like a must-have. You really put this on your list. It's killer. I can't speak more highly of it. But I got a few more uh, Mobile Fidelity restocks. Kebmo. Upstairs at Eric's, uh, Yaz. part of the uh, Silver Series, and then also the Sisters of Mercy, first and last and always. So I got those Mobile Fidelity restocks in. Oh, also another side of Bob Dylan, which is peculiar. I don't know why I was able to order this. They might have just found a couple because they only made 3,000 of these, and it was out of print for quite some time. This is number 1,542, the mono version of Bob Dylan's Another Side of Bob Dylan. So the stereos were... Uh, you know, an unlimited, you know, they sold as many as they could within X amount of time. The monos were 3,000 and done, but I was able to order those. All right, let me show you guys some of this week's new arrivals. Kaimata. God, I heard this a while back, and it was, uh, I got a copy of this in the store about six years ago, and it was just beat. But we played it anyways, and this was a great record. I remember thinking to myself, man, I really want a, a clean copy of this, but it's never come around since. An unforgettable mix of Afro reggae, jazz, and funk. This is pressed uh, on translucent orange crushed vinyl, remastered at Abbey Road Studios. 
Bob Weir, ace. 180 gram, really nice uh, tip on jacket. Did a good job on the jacket. Nice, yeah. 50th anniversary edition. The first recordings from Color Green, four track EP, pressed on a limited edition green colored vinyl. This is uh, from ORG. What do we got here? Maniskin? Rush, the new album from the Grammy-nominated Best New Artist. <laughs> Guess they're uh, censoring something there because, yeah. <laughs> so there's a girl with a... Uh... Ah, okay, I see what's going on here. All right, so this girl, right, lay it out for you if you can't figure out what's going on here. She's jumping over these boys, and I guess there's a girl over there. She's, you know, they're all looking a little excited, right? Well, the flip of it is what they see. But they put a sticker there, so you have to buy the record to see what they see. I wonder what kind of music this is. I have no clue. All right. Ozzy Osbourne's newest album. This is a special uh, alternate cover of Patient Number 9 on black vinyl. So, alternate cover on black of vinyl. Unfortunately, Ozzy announced that he is not going to be touring anymore. That came out earlier today before uh, I filmed this video. Glad I got to see him. And hopefully he does some residencies, preferably in Las Vegas, because it's four and a half hours away. I would like to see him a couple more times, if possible. Link Ray, Walking Down a Street Called Love. This is on transparent orange vinyl. Love Link Ray. His early stuff is just unbelievable. Fantastic, great instrumental guitar, guitar tunes. I don't know how many albums Doro has, but I feel like I've probably shown you guys 40. I, it's becoming like King Gizzard, Wizard Lizard with her. Uh, the amount of stuff that she has out that they're reissuing is mind boggling. But yeah, here we go. Warlock, Triumph and Agony Alive on clear blue vinyl. She must have her own pressing plant to be getting all these records into production. Zelia Day, Sunday in Heaven. Cover's kind of cool, has an 80s Grace Jones vibe going. Eat Your Heart Out. Can't Stay Forever. We've got Shania Twain, Queen of Me. Shania's newest album. Ah, Will and Jennings live in Austin, the Austin City Limits. This is a, a limited edition color exclusive. Doesn't tell you the color variant, but yeah, recorded August 7th, 1984. All right, I'm actually going to pick this. Love Green Day. I've seen him a couple times live. This is a numbered box set as well. I didn't know that. I wonder what they uh, numbered him to. 25th anniversary limited edition of uh, Green Day's Nimrod. Five LP box set includes the album, over two LPs, an LP of 14 unreleased demos, and then a two LP set of a 1997 unreleased live concert. Plus, book, cloth patch, poster, slip mat, and a commemorative backstage pass. So yeah, tchotchkes. Recorded at the Electric Factory, 1997. So uh, I'll be picking that up. The Arcs, Electrophonic Cro... My label cut it off. <laughs> Electrophonic Chronic. This is on Easy Eye Sound. So we got two different versions here. So this is the Indie Store Clear with Black Splatter. Really cool cover. And then this is just the standard black vinyl version. Sig Lewis. Audio Lust and Higher Love.
we've got Little Yacht. Little Yachty. Let's start here. I wonder what the percentage of these hip hoppers' names I get right. I want to guesstimate it's probably in the 15, 20% range. Probably sounds about right, I would imagine. I'm just guessing. The Inspector Clouseau, that's the name of the group. It's the Inspector Clouseau Horizon. Hmm. Actually, I walked, uh, came upstairs a couple of weeks ago and everybody was watching uh, Pink Panther. Sam Smith's newest album, Gloria. Uh, let's see, this is just the standal vinyl, vinyl version. Well done cover, foil embossing on the back. This is the red vinyl variant of Aerosmith's Pump. We've got the Beatles Revolver. This is the new remix, but the picture disc version. It wasn't exclusive to maybe their website or, you know, Walmart, Target, Amazon, who, who knows, but they actually opened it up to where everybody can purchase it. Andrea Bacelli, Romanza. Get asked about Andrea Bacelli quite frequently and unfortunately nothing is really in print. So, yeah. Charlie XCX, Crash. We got Fallout Boys, Greatest Hits. Let's see, this is the Urban Outfitters exclusive. They again, same thing, they opened it up to where everybody can get it, so I brought it in. The Steve Miller Band, Abracadabra. Limited edition, this is a color variant. I don't know, it doesn't specify what it is, but you can get it on the website. Another Urban Outfitters exclusive they opened up to everybody, the uh, Billie Eilish limited edition color vinyl variant. Orange vinyl, I think. Oh, oh yeah, it says orange vinyl. Orange vinyl variant. The uh, standard version of this album, I think, was like a yellow, a yellow color. Another Andre Bocelli album, Cinema. This is being done by Verve. We've got a, another copy of uh, Pump. This doesn't specify the color, but it has a different barcode, but it does have a sticker over the back. So I'm assuming this is a color variant as well. All right, Ray Charles sings and Basie swings. 33 RPM, this is a double. Gene Michael Jarre, this is, I feel like I already showed this last week. This could be an indie exclusive. I don't think so. I believe I just showed this. Oh, look, more Doro. Fur Immer, double white vinyl. Avenged Sevenfold, translucent orange vinyl, vinyl of the self-titled album. And the 10th anniversary of The Lumineers. All songs remastered plus six songs on vinyl for the first time and an album download card. Pressed on 180 gram vinyl, this is a double. All right, let me show you guys some. Again, 201 items are going up on this whatnot. And this was me just pulling out some stuff from the racks. This is not the best stuff. This isn't the highlights. This is just some of the 201 items, pretty much all of this caliber. So I'll run through them real quick. Got a near mint copy of the Mobile Fidelity Elton John Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, one of the harder MoFi's to get from the uh, 80s. A UK copy of The Who, Who's Next. This is near mint, really clean. One of my favorite Speaker's Corner titles ever. Unbelievably killer sound, sounding album. Super Tramps, Crime of the Century. 
a sealed copy of Dark Side of the Moon from the 80s. Barcoded, but it's still sealed. A near mint copy of Dark Side of the Moon, Mobile Fidelity. This is actually pretty sweet. Look at this. This is not something you see, see very often. Maybe my, if it's not my first, if it's not my favorite record, it's definitely my second favorite record. It goes between this and Dark Side of the Moon as my two favorite albums. Hey, look at that. They happen to be together of all time. But this is an original US first pressing, super, super clean. VG plus, plus, plus. I mean, as close as you can get to near mint without me wanting to call it near mint. And keep in mind, I'm a hard grader. In shrink with the hype sticker. Extremely difficult to get this album in this condition. I mean, very, as a record store, like once every 10 years, something like that comes in, this, in the shop. Velvet Underground, an original copy of Loaded. This is a uh, white label promo, VG Plus vinyl. What is this? Pink Floyd's Piper at the Gates of Dawn. This is a 1967 uh, pressing from Denmark, VG Plus vinyl. We've got a stereo US copy, VG Plus, I mean, plus, 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 really clean of Pink Floyd, Piper at the Gates of Dawn on tower. We're good. This is a record that absolutely everybody wants. This is a translucent UK first pressing of Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures. The true first UK, UK did I say US or UK? I meant to say UK pressing if I said US. Translucent vinyl, really, really clean. This is the one everybody wants. UK Plum, Led Zeppelin 2, VG Plus. This is a classic records, 180 gram, Led Zeppelin Houses of the Holy. Keep in mind too, every one of these records starts at 10 bucks. Whatever they sell for, they sell for, they all start at 10 bucks. Near mint copy of the Beatles Help. There's a bunch of these uh, Mobile Fidelity, Mobile Fidelity Rubber Soul. They're pretty much, I think, all near mint from memory. Yellow Submarine, one of the harder Mobile Fidelity titles to get from the Beatles catalog. I think at least half of them, maybe there's, I think there's three or four more titles there. The Beatles, Let It Be. This is a UK pressing. Let me fix that. Stay, don't move. This is a UK pressing, really clean, near mint. It's got a little bit of a warp, but plays fine. Really clean. This is fantastic. Look at this. The Rolling Stones, Satanic Majesties, U.S. First pressing with the lenticular cover. Still sealed. With the $1.99 gem price tag on it. Ooh, one of the Mofis from the 90s that everybody wants. One of the big ones. Pink Floyd's Adam Hart Mother. And a disc. One of the most expensive, most desirable 80s mobile fidelities, as well as uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, but Led Zeppelin too. Mobile fidelity. This is really clean, like VG++ the near mint, depending on what side. UK, first pressing of Pink Floyd's The Wall. Really nice copy with the, uh, with the original stick, sticky there. Here's a little bit later, later 80s pressing of Pink Floyd's The Wall. This is uh, nice because it has the uh, hype sticker for the movie. And it's in shrink. You don't find a lot of gatefolds in shrink, especially on high caliber, desirable items. You know, desi desirable albums. Pink Floyd, Animals. This is the French pressing on pink vinyl. Near mint, really clean. More classic records. Led Zeppelin records. 200 gram, Led Zeppelin three. I wish they'd reprint these things. They go for just ridiculous money, but they go for ridiculous money because how killer these things sound. They are so good. 
200 gram. Tons of Japanese pressings, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. Japanese pressing with the OB Nearman shape, Led Zeppelin physical graffiti. This is Pink Floyd's Adam Hart Mother, Japanese pressing with the OB. Another Anadisc uh, Mobile Fidelity. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's Tarkus. Again, 201 albums, all of this caliber. Everything's going to be auctioned off starting at 12 o'clock Sunday, Arizona time, in alphabetical order. Click below. You'll get $15 off your first purchase if you haven't registered with WhatNot before. Again, you could just watch if you want to. Me and Angel have a good, uh, good time. I'll probably be a little delirious towards the end of this auction. So who knows what could happen? At, uh, yeah, could get weird. All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.